Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caroline and my channel is Caroline D'Ambrosio Designs where I make a lot of costumes and stuff. And I thought it'd be fun to analyze all the costumes from Sanditon. This video is gonna be Charlotte Haywood and I'm gonna do another video for Miss Lamb focusing on episode one. So I'm gonna do every single episode, but here is the book, Sanditon. Um, so Sanditon is the unfinished novel of Jane Austen's. She died before she finished it, but Kate Riordan finished the novel and it was made into a PBS show in 2019, starring Theo James, um, which unfortunately he can come, couldn't come back for the season two, which I'm very sad about, but um, I'm really happy they're making a season two because basically the show was going to get canceled but everybody really rallied around it not to get canceled so it was brought back for season two and three. Unfortunately because it was so long I think Theo James just couldn't do it anymore. But um, I want to focus on this show because I really liked the costumes from it and I think they did a pretty good job with the costumes and I want to really analyze it. I was inspired by another video that did that for the Emma costumes so I wanted to see what they did and um, kind of helped me to build my Regency wardrobe, which is my plan. Um, so I just want to see what they did for it and kind of wrap my head around it. Because with the Emma show, they really had, they didn't have that many pieces per se, but because the way they styled it, a lot of the pieces went much farther than they did. So I'm curious to see what they did for this show. So we first meet Charlotte Haywood. She is a country girl. I She's like from a gentle class though, so it's not like she's like a lower class per se, um, but she is like a country girl. So we first meet her hunting, and oh, sorry, my computer's over here so much. Anyway, so we meet her hunting with um, her siblings. So she's wearing a wool coat that I believe is a menswear coat just because of the fit of it. And she has a burgundy underdress underneath that with a white sort of cotton undershirt. And the burgundy underdress is very similar to another Regency dress that I made. So I found it interesting. And she has a bandana on. And this dress is pretty, you know, Regency style. It has that empire waist. I can't see much of it though because the coat is blocking it. So the next scene, you can see a little bit more of it. It is a sleeveless dress. Um, and the undershirt, you can see a little bit more of the detailing of it. There's a little detail right here, I think kind of to make like a puff. And it's a buttons, buttons right here. So it's a long sleeve shirt underneath. And you can tell it's a bit of a collar. So you can see a bit more of that detail. The next shot that we see her in a different outfit is, it, it looks like the same undershirt. Um, it sort of has a button closure and then she's wearing a knit sort of empire-ish sweater. I'm not sure if this was something they did in Regency. I couldn't find many examples of it, but I do think it's really cute. I would totally wear it. And it's just like a brown sort of boat neck sweater. And you can see a little bit more how that other undershirt closes. So the next outfit we see her in is this long coat. I believe it's a police. It's just a long coat, but we, we only see the top part of it and where we see her. And she's wearing this straw bonnet with a little bit of ribbon detail. And it looks like a textured, maybe wool or something. And I believe it is has been worn in other shows and it's been sort of refurbished for this show. I think the buttons were changed, but I think it's really, really pretty. Like I, I would wear it um, and it sort of folds over kind of closure. And there's a little bit of interesting uh, details with the uh, size. So you can also see the back of it in this shot. She wears it multiple times during the episode. So I'm just gonna show all of the shots now. But you can see the back of it with that nice rounded um, seam that was pretty popular in the Regency era and the pleats in the back. And the sleeves are pretty like big puffed. And it has a uh, I think it's called a sailor collar, where it's sort of that square collar in the back. So um, that is that coat. She wears that a lot. The first sort of gown we see her in is this really pretty white 
um, Swiss cotton, Swiss dotted cotton uh, gown with these puff sleeves. It's a floor length gown. And she wears it with this lace fichu, as you can see, that's sort of lined in this other lace. Um, and you can see in this shot, it's a Swiss dotted cotton and it's corded around the neck, um, probably to give it a little more structure. And you can sort of see the back of the dress here. Um, I can't really tell what the closures are, but I think it's buttons and um, ties. And you can tell it's a really thin fabric. And here you can kind of get a look more at the back, how it closes, and it kind of reminds me of this other dress that I saw um, from the Met Gallery. I think that it is connected, like the sleeve is, the undersleeve is connected to the oversleeve in this because um, we don't see it again and she wore, sort of wears this dress again, but it's still together. And here we can see a little bit of the buttons. There's some covered buttons in the sleeve part. I do wish they would have put her, like had her have like a little nice gold cross or something. Cause I feel like that's something she would have worn. She didn't really wear much jewelry in it until the end. But I feel like that would have been like a nice touch. Um, but you can see how that dress was made. Um, she wore it a few times in this episode. And then here she goes to the beach and she is wearing a different dress though. It's like a, 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 a some sort of cotton dress underneath. So, and it's a different pair of gloves. So, but they don't show this again. So you don't see what dress is underneath here, but it is a different dress than that one she wore before. And now they're getting ready for the like bathing thing, which is kind of interesting. Um, but you get to see her chemise and her stays, which is a nice touch. And it looks like a pair of long sleeves. looks like it's a boned pair of long stays. Um, but that's sort of nice that they put that in there. And then here we see the bathing outfits, which really just reminded me of, uh, what's that show with the... Handmaid's Tale. Reminded me of Handmaid's Tale. Um, but you can see the back of it. They're um, empire waisted. They have little matching caps. Um, but, but also the show is really beautifully shot. I really like it. Um, cause this looks really pretty to me, this particular shot, how it's like the red framed with the outer and it has the nice little details on this dress as well, but it, it does look kind of hands me tilly. So the next dress we see her in is a brown overdress and it, you only see it for like a second. So it's like kind of hard for me to get the screen grabs, but. It's that same white undershirt. And then the overdress is this brown sleeveless overdress and it has like a pin tuck kind of decoration going diagonally down into some gathers into a waistband. And I have found another shot of it where you can see the bottom of that dress and there are some pin tucks. So, and it has a little tie up here. Then the other coat we see her in is this long blue one for this, which is really pretty. It's like a light blue trimmed with a darker blue kind of crochet-ish thing. And she has a little cute little square bag, which I really like, and um, some white gloves. And the little buttons closures for this are little crocheted um, balls. Like they're so cute. I really like them. And here's just a little closer up detail of the uh, detailing of the collar with the trim. And here are the really pretty blue shoes that she ends up wearing later on. Um, they're like a silk blue and they're really pretty. I The reason why I got the Regency blue shoes was actually because of this, because I thought these looked really cool and pretty and I wanted to look like her. Um, and then here's just a really nice shot of the back of the coat so you can see like the detailing and the patterning a little bit more and it is corded around the sleeves and around the seams and you can kind of see how how many gathers are in the sleeve and where the trim sort of ends and you can tell this is a different bonnet than she wore before so this one is a little different of a shape but it's still straw and it has a different um silk ribbon to it I also found a close-up of the material. It looks like a herringbone wool, like herringbone pattern wool. wool. I'm not 100% sure, but. 
And then her final dress for the episode is this really pretty thin, um, um, cotton with little blue dots. And they wore this dress in another, um, show. So I found it on RecyclesCostumes.com. And from here you can kind of see it's like, most of it's that dotted uh, blue, but right in the front where it's the gathered part, it is a different material, I think, some kind of patterned material. And then it has a little bow and the uh, detailing underneath, and there's a little buckle um, underneath there. And then in this shot, you can see the bottom of the dress. It's decorated with some pin tucks, tucks. And then she's tying her shoes, her new shoes. But I thought it was funny because in the show, she's tying her shoes, but she didn't like pull them all the way. So it's like, they're just gonna flop off, but whatever, I just thought it was fine. Um, and she has her floor length dress. Here you can see a nice shot of how it's a different material and how it's sort of patterned. And she has wears her first set of jewelry for this, which is a matching uh, pendant and earring set, which was pretty popular during that time. And it's a really nice, pretty, I think it's like a silk ribbon. It's a really nice thin silk, so it almost like blends in with her skin tone, so it looks really pretty. Um, and you can see her stays in this. So she is wearing stays underneath this. And you can see the back here, it's a button closure. And I wanna say it's a button closure with maybe a tie, um, like at the back right there, but you can't really tell. And here is a really nice picture of just the silhouette of it. it it's a really pretty like Regency silhouette, honestly. I really, really like it. Um, kind of goes like this, like with a that, like kind of down like that. Um, I don't believe it has a train, um, but I just think it's a really pretty, you can tell that it's a thin, thin material. Um, you can also get a good, better look at the, the sort of hair ornament, which is like a feather and like a ribbon kind of, clip I guess. Alright guys that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it um, and I hope you guys are excited for season two of Sanditon and I'm gonna do it for season for episode two as well. Um, so I'm excited for you guys to see the outfits. Alright guys I hope you enjoyed this video and like if you enjoyed it anyway and please subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye!